Hi, my name is Patrick Rodriguez. And what are the suite options? Well, you can get the Maya Entertainment Creation Suite 2015 or the 3DS Max Entertain Entertainment Creation Suite 2015. Uh, what these come with are Motion Builder and Mudbox. All right, you can either get the Maya, which comes with Motion Builder and Mudbox, or you can get 3D Studio Max with Motion Builder and Mudbox. The Ultimate Suite, the Ultimate Edition, comes with both Maya and uh, 3D Studio Max, as well as Soft Image, Motion Builder, and Mudbox. Bifrost Procedural Effects Platform is one of the newest features in Maya. Photorealistic Simulation and Rendering of Liquids. They can be previewed interactively in the Viewport 2.0 and rendered in the NVIDIA Mental Ray Renderer. They can be exported to a native file format as well as to selected industry standard file formats. Create water for environments. Whether you're designing a boat or a harbor for these boats, you can create realistic water simulations that can really make your presentation stand out. Here we can see the various render passes from Maya. For visual effects, you would actually render out all of these different passes, and then you'd composite them together to give you the most realistic effect. Here is the final render with all of the different components. The next feature for Maya that's new is the XGen Arbitrary Primitive Generator. Used by Walt Disney Animation Studios in Tangled and Bolt and by Pixar Animation Studios in Toy Story 3. You can generate curves, spheres, and custom geometry on the surface of a polygon, on, on the surface of polygon meshes, in order to create and groom hair, fur, and feathers on characters and quickly populate large landscapes with grass, foliage, trees, rocks, and debris trails. In these examples, you can see all of the tiles are created using XGen, and the forest on the right was created with XGen as well. XGen enables you to handle large amounts of instance data that would slow down a system if loaded in memory. The rendered effect can be previewed interactively in the Maya viewport. You can control the appearance and behavior of the primitives by setting attributes, painting maps, creating expressions, or using a set of interactive grooming tools. Here you can see it being used for hair and rugs as well as foliage. You may be using plugins for this sort of thing, but now it is native in the creation suite. Enhanced polygon modeling. You can now more easily retopologize high resolution meshes for cleaner deformations and better performance with a streamlined workflow that features a new relax and tweak feature with soft select in the quad draw tool and a new interactive edge extend tool. In addition, a new library for faster and more reliable Boolean operations, an enhanced and extended bevel tool, and a deeper integration of the modeling toolkit introduced in Maya 2014. Shader effects. Shader networks are created by connecting different nodes together using an intuitive click-drag workflow. You can select from a powerful array of floating point values, mathematical operations, texture maps, normal maps, and color nodes. The resulting materials, even those with animated values, can be visualized in real time in Viewport 2.0. An advanced mode enables more technical designers to drill down deeper into the inner workings of each basic node. This feature has been introduced in both Maya and Max and work identically. This leads us to what's new in 3 Studio Max. Autodesk 3DS Max 2015 introduces some exciting new features. You can import, visualize, and render massive point cloud data sets. Viewport performance has been drastically improved. It now supports the NVIDIA Mental Ray renderer and support for Python scripting. Point cloud support. Designers can now create more precise models from real world references. Import massive data sets captured from reality as point clouds. Modelers can view point clouds in true color in the 3ds Max viewport, interactively adjust the extent of the cloud displayed, and create new geometry and context by snapping to point cloud vertices. Point clouds can be rendered with shadows and mental ray to visualize CG objects in real-world contexts. Support for the RCP and RCS file formats enables designers to take advantage of a connected reality capture workflow with other Autodesk solutions. Autodesk Recap, AutoCAD, Autodesk Revit, and Autodesk Inventor software. Active Shade Rendering Enhancements. The Active Shade Preview Rendering window now supports Mental Ray. 
in addition to the NVIDIA iRay renderer previously supported. With ActiveShade, you can see the effects of changing lighting or materials interactively. The ability to match the final renderer helps you more accurately preserve creative intent for both iRay and Mental Ray. Interactive updates are now faster. Placement tools. You can now more easily position and orient content relative to other content within your scenes. With new placement tools that feature intuitive auto-parenting and aligning behaviors, objects can be moved along the surface of other meshes as though magnetically attracted and quickly rotated to the desired orientation as part of the same operation. Stereo camera. Artists and designers can now create more engaging entertainment content and design visualizations with the addition of a new stereo camera feature set. Exclusively available through the Autodesk Exchange application store, the Stereo Camera plugin enables artists and designers to create stereoscopic camera rigs. In addition to a passive stereo viewing mode, with a recent AMD Fire Pro graphics card and a supported HD 3D active stereo monitor or equivalent, you can take advantage of active stereo viewing. Populate enhancements. The powerful Populate Crowd Animation feature set now offers increased artistic control, better realism, and improved usability. Designers and artists can give their characters more convincing walking, jogging, passing, turning, and seated behaviors, control more aspects of how their characters are generated to influence the outcome, and save textures for reuse and customization and for network sharing and rendering. In addition, studios can customize Populate through exposure of the functionality in a software development kit. 3ds Max now works much better with Adobe Photoshop and Adobe After Effects software. Autodesk Motion Builder has new support for affordable, con consumer-level motion capture devices like Kinect from Xbox. Imagine capturing your own, your own movements and attaching them to a pre-built character. Now we're going to do a demo of Maya XGen. I'm going to select a polygon plane that I made. I'm going to open up the XGen. I'm going to do the groomable splines and leave the rest alone and create. I'm going to adjust the length of these, of these hairs. These are going to be our grass by clicking and dragging on the slider, but you can also uh, type in a number. I'm trying this with a density. Sometimes a little easier just to type in the number you want. Now I'm using the grooming tools and I can interactively uh, scrub over the different hairs and they will get longer with just using the brush tool. The pose tool allows you to kind of move clumps of hair around to give a more natural feeling in this case grass so maybe there's been um, animals crawling through the grass just to make it more natural so it doesn't look so uh, uniform the bend tool allows you to actually bend these long grass reeds so that they're not all just uh, either just a long curve or straight up and down the noise tool allows you to give it a little bit of a natural look so not every uh, not everything looks well groomed the part tool allows you to kind of make a little trail as if an animal is crawled through again to just to give it a little more natural feel the preview tool allows you to see the geometry underneath or after you've after you've done all of your grooming to your grass or to your hair uh, you can now see what the geometry would look like. As you can see, creating all of these individual pieces would be incredibly difficult to um, to manage. The last thing I did there was I adjusted the taper amount so that the tips of the grass would come to a point. Here you can see inside the uh, hypershade there's the XGen um, uh, texture there. If you just right click on that you can select it 
and then uh, right, or, uh, right click and drag to your right, you can select the objects. And then uh, that Lambert 2, you could change to a green color, right click on it and drag uh, or up to assign it. So you could change it that easily. 2015 Max Features Populate Enhancements. Crowd Animation Feature Set. Crowd Control Populate now allows you to give your characters more convincing walking, jogging, passing, turning, and seated behaviors, making your crowds appear more realistic and easier to control. When creating seated characters within proximity links, they're generated controlling how characters interact with each other. So these lines here between the chairs basically allow you to for you it allows you to manage who's going to talk to who and who's going to interact with whom all right here we're looking at the wireframe Skin textures can be used or reused and customized for each for easier sharing and network rendering with increased control over crowd animation. Designers can bring their story of their design to life with more convincing crowd behavior and a better sense of scale. The capability to increase or decrease polygon count in a specific character can allow you to control the scene size better as you control how the skin is generated to influence the outcome. Here you can see how you can select individual, uh, populate characters, and randomize the way they look, their skin tones, the gender. And this is where you can see the textures that you can export to render in another file or another application. So you could create all of your populate stuff, but then bring it into Maya or uh, your other applications and render it there. Thank you very much for listening to this presentation on the new features of the Autodesk Creation Suite. My name is Patrick Rodriguez.